Hello Cancer, welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole. It is a privilege to have each and every single one of you. Cancer, I hope you guys are doing well and fantastic. Um, this is going to be your weekly read, December 4th through the 10th. You guys' monthly read is out already. Um, so there's that. I say already, I'm a little bit late. Um, Cancer, this will be, uh, again, your weekly read. <clears throat> sun moon rising and your venus cross watch if that's you welcome to the channel as well flip the rules reverse the rules you guys are here you know what to do <sighs> cancer i was hoping for something a little bit different than what i got when i sat down here um stevie nicks edge of 17 or fleetwood max edge of 17 however you want to word that uh came up and i know the lyrics but i wanted to i'm a big Fleetwood Mac fan myself, um, but I wanted to uh, read the lyrics. Then I'm reading it and I'm thinking about it and I'm like, okay, I'm kind of getting down into the deeper meaning of it. <clears throat> and I had to look it up. I, I wanted to look it up because I kind of had an inclination, but I wasn't sure. Um, it's about death. It's about the body or the soul leaving the body. This is about an uncle of hers that passed away. She also refers to John Lennon as well. Um, you could just have a specific tie to that genre that may be your genre of music. Um, Fleetwood Mac, who the hell doesn't love Fleetwood Mac if you don't? No judgment here, but what the hell? Uh, you know, just gotta say it, like, how could you not love her? Um, <clears throat> how could you not love them? They were fantastic, despite their own personal stories. Um, but Cancer, this this death could also be met a, a, a metaphorical situation i will say quickly if somebody has experienced some kind of tragic death or something to that effect um I, i'm you have my sincerest apologies and empathy for, for your loss um separate of that um cancer i've watched you guys go up and down here lately and i've got a lot of friends that are cancers my sister sign is a scorpio um, I've watched you guys take some highs and lows, and uh, I'm going to say this too, the cancer videos don't always do so hot on YouTube, and that's okay, the people that are meant to find it will always find it, um, but I would pay attention, and I, I almost feel like it's a little bit of a plea from <clears throat> my higher self to say to you, just listen, if nothing else, take what is said and, and sit with it you don't have to acknowledge it you don't have to roll around in it you don't have to do anything with it but the spirit is addressing the fact there's a need to listen okay um so i'm, I'm gonna leave it at that I never tell anybody you know you, you need to do you know this is how you do things right you, free will we have the right to do however we need to do for ourselves or what we feel pulled to do um <clears throat> But spirit is just drawing that to my attention and thus they do that and that's my job to convey that to you so um there it is so with that cancer let's go ahead and jump into your reading that was the intuitive and the little extra there i guess that needed to come out so your weekly read december 4th through the 10th spirit what does cancer need to know this week personal readings are open and available that information can be found in the description box below as well as the about section of the page Check me out too at holisticallyzenwb.com. Guys, can't make it up. I just split the cards. I said you need to listen to it. And there's the preservation that is the death card in this deck. I'm going to say this to you. I am equally, as much as I do this every day, multiple times a day and then some. <laughs> I'm floored by what I just said to you and the split 411 on the clock. I don't know who needs to hear this and this is very specific and I'm not trying to get ucky and gory as a Scorpio because God knows we can run with the deepest parts of things. Um, there is a countdown, and I heard death rattle. And I'm going to be completely straight with you. When I get that kind of stuff, I don't like it. It's not a message I want to throw out there because our words are very freaking powerful. But something is happening here. 
And I'm gonna say for some of you, unfortunately, it's probably get, probably in the physical realm and for others of you, this is a metaphorical death. Um, there is something that is not resonating with your soul anymore. Spirit is saying it's a way of being. Um, and this may feel like one of the biggest transitions of your life right now, Cancer. Um, this listen. I think she says in that song about the echoes down the hall. I feel a lot of noise attached to this. You may feel like you are a deer caught in the headlights watching the whole world just whip around you right now or whatever this is. Um, this is probably one of the, the, the deepest messages I think I've ever had to put out there. Um, they're talking about preserving yourself. I, I feel like, I, I don't even know if I wanna put this on YouTube, I swear to God. Um, I, as human beings, we will run ourselves through the mud and the muck at the expense of other people because we're trying to self-preserve because we don't want to sit with the ugly parts. The inner child within you, Cancer, is screaming. I mean, sound the alarm, screaming in the silence of the night, Spirit is saying. For the love of God, whatever you have dealt with that has sent you into preservation, anger, hurt, malicious attacks, gossiping, um, vanity, tangible, anything that has to do with the representation of this 3D world and all that is out there, you are a human being. You did not know better. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. I don't care if it's something you did. I don't care if it's something that somebody else did to you. It is time to forgive. And I will tell you that I do not, and spirit does not expect you to forget but gosh darn it, no longer let it dictate how you treat yourself and how you treat other people. Hurt people, hurt people. Healed people, heal people. What do you want to be? If you're watching this message, I want you to know that as a reader, um, I'll probably be bold and ballsy enough to put this on YouTube, even though I don't know that it, it's going to go over real hot, but somebody needs to hear this. Um, to do this message and not just shut it down is taking everything in me not to. 9-11 on the clock. When we tap in as readers, as we tap into that kind of energy, look, I just shuffled those cards. Here comes that listen again. Pay attention. Like, I, I almost feel like I need to get, I need to get down to the gritty here with you guys. Pay attention. There is an inner child part somewhere in their cancer and why this is coming up this week I don't have an answer for you I don't know I don't know what's going on in, in the astrology right now I haven't looked your birth charts are going to depend this up leveling the shift with Pluto and Aquarius that's coming 
if you had your power and control of yourself and your life ripped from you at any point, 10 zero, one on the clock, that is over, a new beginning is coming, and you better get ready. Plain and simple. The inner child that sat in silence didn't feel like they could make a move. That inner wound, even as an adult, that all you could do is sit and be a spectator to your own life. You're not supposed to stay there. You're supposed to heal. You're supposed to change things. You can't fix the world. You can't run out on, you know, on a ship or in your car or on a crusade, protest and save the world if you can't save yourself. There's healing to be done. It has to be done. You cannot hide out underneath that rock anymore. If you're going to evolve, you don't get to hide. You get to stand up and speak a truth. You got to listen to your inner self that says, I am wounded, I am hurt, I am angry, I am pissed off, I have not been heard. Nobody has listened to me. Nobody knows how I feel. This is a massive, massive turning point for you guys I and I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it out for I don't care if you were abused as a child I don't care if you were victim of domestic violence if you were raped if you were beaten if you were drugged if you've been homeless if you chose addiction issues I, I don't care all of the gross disgusting scenarios that we can go through in life do not let that define you. Do not let that wound live so deep and smolder and fester that it poisons everything within you. Some of you, don't get pissed at me, I'm being straight. I don't, I don't come here to sugarcoat anything for you guys. If you want me to sugarcoat something, you're on the wrong channel. I'm gonna tell you that right now. And number two, I've had to sit with my own self with this kind of stuff, and I'm, it fucking hurts. It's ugly, it's mortifying, sometimes it's embarrassing, but I'm gonna tell you, when you take accountability for where you are in life and you start to change that, you will never look back again. This is now. This is no more. It is love thyself listen to that inner child, make the changes that need to happen to save yourself. I don't care if this is recent. I don't care if this is 30 years ago. You're going to let something else, some other situation or somebody else take away your personal power and freedom you're going to live by a definition you're going to live in fear you're going to hide out because these two monsters here are looking for you hopefully you camouflage of god i hope they don't see me maybe you're coming across a perpetrator you once dealt with and i'm going to tell you i've had that happen it's fucking scary god please just keep going right but if you're that triggered there's a reason because you've got healing to do. <clears throat> For cancer this week, December 4th through the 10th. Absence. When I said you're going to hide out, you're going to check. Look at this. This is always, always, always my inner child card. Do you see that? There she is. There it is. You cannot make this shit up. I don't care who you are. You just kind of check out on yourself, walk away, forget it all ever happened. If you have kids, look at your kids. Would you be expecting them to hide their wounds and just swallow up that shit and pretend it never happened? Do you think it would be okay to deny them the right of their truth? Because I'm going to tell you, if you're a loving parent in any capacity, 
The answer is no. And you need to treat yourself the same way that you would treat your children. If you would give them love and compassion and understanding and say, you need to go report this, you need to do X, Y, and Z, cancer, it's time to get up and fucking go. I had, honest to God, like I'm, I am blown away by this reading. I have never, 30, no, I take that back. 20 plus years of reading cards. I have never felt this kind of energy. You guys are on the precipice of this boiling point that you're either going to start to transform this shit. All of that pain, all of that muck, all of the hurt. Or it's going to take you out one way or another. Like, and I'm not trying to invoke fear. I'm not trying to like fear monger you guys. But you can only live with this shit for so long. You get an abscessed tooth, what do you do? You call the dentist, go to the dentist. You get the tooth pulled, get the tooth fixed, you take some antibiotics, you fix it. This, this emotional abscess, it's no different. You can't numb, you can't hide, you can't run. It's not going to go away on its own. 1616, power. This is not going to go away on its own. I'm going to need a drink after this. Holy shit. Cancer, I don't even know what to say. I swear to God, like, I don't... Look at this. Shift and revolution. I'm telling you, when Pluto moves into Aquarius, I've seen this all damn day in these weekly reads. For some reason, it is being massively highlighted. When Pluto shifts into Aquarius, you have other things to do. And I've seen this in Aquarius's video. You've got other things to do. Not to live in this. My God, be the voice. Be the reason. Be the power. Be the purpose. If you're going to let your suffering go in vain at somebody because somebody else decided to come in and beat your ass a couple of times. And I'm not downplaying domestic violence if that's been your story because God knows I've been there. It's not a joke. Not at all. If you've been raped, been there. It's not a joke. But you don't let that person take your power away. You were beat as a kid. You don't let those parents who didn't know how to love you teach you how not to love yourself. You don't give your power away to somebody who's in pain. Because they become narcissists, they become sociopaths. And no, I'm not a medical doctor. No, I'm not a psychologist. But look it up. They get off on the high of creating pain for somebody else because they don't want to hurt. They want someone else to feel the way they felt. When you're abused, you either become the abuser or you become the person who gets abused. It's a fact. Cancer, you're, you're teetering a line here. If you've had anger, sadness, pent up frustration, pay attention. Listen. Don't let your soul leave your body again. Did you have an experience where your soul left your body or it felt like your soul left your body when you were getting your ass beat? I know I did. You just blank out. Or when you got raped. You got drugged. All of the god-awful things that we can deal with in, life, in this lifetime. It's disgusting. But you, we, we have those moments where it feels like our soul up and leaves. We check out because we didn't know what else to do. We didn't want to feel. We didn't want to know. We didn't want to see. We didn't want to hear. Nothing. Your soul has the right in this experience to live within itself and to heal and to be supported and to be loved. Spirit's telling me to tell you 
If you have gone to therapists, doctors, law enforcement, no one's listened. Maybe parents, friends, nobody gets it. They're telling you that they are a safe space. This channel is a safe space. I am a safe space. I could cry for you because I know that feeling. And it fucking sucks. cancer what I say there you go dependent ability you have support I don't know who needs this message but by God no you are not alone I don't know what you went through go back to October 31st I put up a domestic violence video go listen to it if that's it I did a video on it you're not alone go check it out um There's no excuse for someone to run amok on you. There's no excuse for any of the pain that you felt that ever made you feel like your soul had to get up and check it. Ever. You're not responsible for that. Um, this is a need to heal traumatic experiences. The world comes. It's done and over with. It's time to move on. Maybe you didn't get your justice. And I got the chills as I say this. Maybe you didn't get your justice here in this 3D. Maybe it won't ever be served. The way that us humans see, you know, are they locked up? Are they the key thrown away? Have they suffered a loss? You know, what is our revenge, right? Did, are we watching and witnessing their karma? Understand, you may never. You may never. But you don't have to keep the score because somebody else does. And their souls, their souls are keeping the score. All right? Whew. Cancer. Some of you could already be revolting out of this situation. The Ten of Swords. Backstab, betrayal, hurt, pain. I mean, my God, I just named them all. Bottom, Five of Cups. Do you have regrets? What What if you wouldn't have gone to that party? What if you wouldn't have married that person? What if you moved out of the house sooner? What if you wouldn't have gotten into that relationship? What if you would have listened to your best friend? What if you would have left early? What if you would have not left the house at all that day? You can beat yourself up with what ifs left, right, and sideways. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. I think that's the hardest thing for us, Cancer, is as humans, is that we have to understand why something happened the way it did. And when we go through something that's tragic and painful and traumatic, for, for maybe our whole lifetime, it will never make any sense at all. And then maybe one day you wake up and go, if I didn't go through that, I wouldn't be where I am right now. And then that changes the way you view things. That shifts your perspective. That's the shift. The potential of what you can do with the pain that you've endured changes everything. I'm going to tell you that in the last, and give you a little bit of personal knowledge here, last two years of my life, had I not dealt with some of the things that I dealt with, like a real messed up custody situation, a real messed up relationship that led to lawsuits and police and arrests and all kind of stuff. I wouldn't be in a place to help the people that I do. And do I still deal with some of that now? Hell yeah, 24, 24 on the clock. Yeah, I do. But I will be damned. If I'm going to let narcissistic, domineering, controlling, using mofos dictate the rest of my life and take my power away from me ever again. My situations were not in vain. 
because I can teach my daughter, my friends, my loved ones, male or female, however you identify, it doesn't matter, my clients, you don't give your power. And even if somebody tries to take that away from you, man, you fuck up, you lace up, and you show out every freaking time. And are you going to be scared? Hell yeah. Are you going to not know what's coming? Hell yeah. But you don't, you don't give away your personal power. You just don't go there. Because you're worth more than that. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Good lord, this might be it for me today. My Atlanta spirit. What else does cancer need to know? Nine of Cups, the potential in that. I just said, you show up, you show out, right? What makes you happy? You regain your stability. You regain the control over what your foundations look like. You don't give up that power to anybody. Ever. That King of Pentacles in, in a good fashion is stable, secure, reliable, dependable, which we had right here. You know he's going to be there every freaking time. That King of Pentacles in the reverse, I wouldn't trust him with nothing. Absolutely not a damn thing. You have to decide who it is you're dealing with and also who it is you want to be. Because I feel like this is kind of a flip-up pantser of what direction you're heading after you've dealt with everything. Are you going to become the person that puts you in this pain? Or are you going to hold your head high, deal with the pain of what you dealt with, work through the emotional healing of it, and show up? that they don't win. You do. Love wins. Compassion wins. Genuine heart space genuinity wins. Healing wins. Live and die by your truth, Cancer. And I'm going to say this to you, some of you, Son of Cups, Daughter of Pentacles in this deck. Some of you, and this won't resonate for all of you, you've got a son that you've got to teach how to be emotionally open and human. And you've got a daughter, you've got to teach she's stronger than ever. And she doesn't need anybody either. You could also be dealing with yourself and another person who's coming in emotionally open and you who are trying to still stabilize yourself. This could be a partnership coming in with that dependability. Somebody who sees you for you and knows that it's okay if you have a bad day. Knows you're trying to get your bearings and they're not judging you for it. others of you, this could be somebody looking up to you. And for others of you, this could be you and a sibling not repeating the same shit your parents did. The Hermit and the Six of Swords. Wisdom. Knowledge. Power in that wisdom and in that knowledge. It heats up the frozen. It thaws us out from the cold. That light. It lights the way. It guides the way. We've gained wisdom through this experience. And we're moving on. It's time to move on. Whatever you have dealt with, it is time to move on. You're not supposed to carry. I seen that 24 earlier. I said to you, 24, 24. You're not supposed to carry this with you into next year. Like the time is now to change this for yourself. 
whatever, I know this is not going to resonate with everybody. But Cancer, it's time to get out of the anger and into your emotions. You see that red shifts down into the blue. I have always seen that red most often is anger as a reader. And that emotion is calm. Blue still waters. Relaxation. You can see through it. That's heat. That's anger. It's frustration. Let the water put it out. Use that water to create a passion in your life that is worth something. That propels you forward rather than living in this shit that's happened in the past. Because it don't let it define you. Do not let it define you. This is the longest weekly reading I think I've ever done, good lord. But apparently it's necessary today for some ungodly reason. Ten of Swords, Spirit, for Cancer this week. Page of Swords, Communication, Ten of Wands. Um... Some of you could be looking up and researching online the justice system. 3131. Um, the last day of the year could be very important for you. I just heard uh, light the world on fire, but it also reminded me of cancer, or cancer, Jesus. Pink and uh, was it Kenny Chesney did. Uh, what was that song? Something about fire. I can't remember. Um, but anyhow, if you know it, look it up. <sighs> There's an aha moment about this betrayal. It's like you could be researching, studying, working with somebody who's explaining things to you about why these things happen. Um, and, you know, it's like, again, some of you could be walking away from a situation now where you're packing up your things and you're leaving. It's helping you work through that Five of Pentacles and that Nine of Wands. Feeling defeated. Feeling like you don't have enough. Telling you, you know, you're not worthless. Like, look how far you've made it. And somewhere in the middle of all this, you still have love in your heart. You still have something to give that a lot of people don't after that. After whatever this experience was for you, a lot of people don't have that to give. There's nothing. But it's still within you. And people want to give it to you. Okay? You really could be having an emotionally balanced person coming into your life to help you. I mean, for real. It, like, it's coming. Somebody. If it's not romantic... Um, and I don't want to hear, you know, oh my God, the hell with romance after what I don't, I don't want. Listen, I was there too. We've all been there. Open your heart. Love is love. And we all need love. 3333. Those are answered prayers, by the way. The emperor. You are, you're hunting down your level of control in your life for your, you're, you're seeking your happiness. Uh, I feel like too, you feel that. Sometimes you have to strategize what happiness looks like. Everybody else for the longest time had control over your happiness. Not anymore, Cancer. Not anymore. Um, if somebody is coming in, could be an Aries, doesn't have to be. There's something about their presence. Could be a Taurus as well. That... Um, They, I don't want to say they're intimidating, but they're very powerful and you see that. But there's a very soft side to them. Pay attention to their fingernails. There's something about their fingernails. Um, even though they're very large in life, they're very compassionate. 
And I'm going to say if this is you, and you might have Taurus placements in your chart with this hair font because it's a spiritual acknowledgement that um, make sure when you move in strategy, you're doing it from a, heart's, a heartfelt space of love. Keep your heart open. Um, Spirit just said everything's going to be fine. They're, they're reassuring you from the other side. And if you had somebody that passed, as I started to talk about in the beginning, they, they're watching. They've seen your struggles. Okay? And for some of you, some of those over there are guiding you through those struggles. You'll know. You will absolutely know because they're not going to leave themselves unheard. Son of Cups, daughter, daughter of Pentacles. I hate to call it your karmic reward, Cancer. But the work that you've done is bringing in something very stable to your life. It may seem very minimal right now, but the pain and the baggage and the unsown seeds. What you've been through is releasing you into a whole new way of being. And what, what did I say in the very beginning of this reading? The soul leaving the body? Look at that judgment card. You cannot make it up. You are releasing soul contracts. You are releasing karmic debt. You are releasing yourself. You are stepping into a newfound freedom. Do not judge yourself for good or bad decisions. It was what it was. You worry about you, you stay in your lane. And the karma will be released. You work on you. Plain and simple. This has been a long time. Cancer. Jesus. Long time coming. Ten of wands. Three of swords to the chariot. Moving away from this pain. Three of cups. Supporting soul unions. Reason for celebration. Ace of pentacles. Two of wands. It's coming. You may be traveling. You could be going on girls trips. Guys trips. Happy people trips, whatever kind of trips. Um, you're finally, this is what I like about her. Even though it's the two wands, which is like, eh, what direction am I going? She's got a hold of that one wand. Now she, it's like she's waiting for the taxi to show up and take her to the airport. She's got that one wand. She's ready. Cancer, you're, whatever movement you're making, you're ready. By God, feel empowered and go. Do not let the pain of the past ever hold you back. Never. Do not be a victim of anything in this life. You be a survivor. And then you be a pioneer and you lead the way. You be the example. You, being, you be the light. You be the beacon for other people. But you can't do it unless you put the work into yourself. Some of you have. Some of you are trying. And some of you are getting there. Keep going. I just gave you your advice. I'm wrapping this up. I'm sending you guys a ton of love. Take care of yourselves. If you need anything in all seriousness, do not hesitate. Not for a second to reach out to me. No, I'm not a psychologist. No, I'm not a doctor. No, I'm not a lawyer. But I'm a human. And I have seen more stuff in 38 years than I have ever would have imagined. Even 10 years ago, I would ever see. Brienne Brown, you cannot empathize with another person's experience if you are not willing to see it through their eyes. Answer, description box below, about section of the page. Visit me holisticallyzenwb.com. Even if you just, even if you just need to vent, Shoot me a message. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Sending you guys love and light. Take care of yourselves. See you next time. Bye.